What is up you guys, Dennis Garcia here and thank you so much for joining me for this week's video. If you guys are new to my channel, please make sure to subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel. I make new videos every single week talking about random shit. Whatever pops in my head, it's my YouTube channel. And so whatever just comes to mind, I usually make a video about it. Sometimes it's interesting, sometimes it's not, but that's just a chance that you're willing to take when you're subscribed to my channel. Sometimes the content is hot and sometimes it's lukewarm and sometimes it's frozen and very boring, but um, I mean, isn't that everybody's life? So as you guys can see, uh, today I actually, uh, I, how many times can I say actually? I did my hair today. I don't usually do my hair because I spend most of my time at home either laying in bed because I don't have a job or at the gym exercising. So my attire is usually just like t-shirts and, and exercise shorts and Nikes and hats. Today I did do my hair, not for you guys, unfortunately, even though I would do my hair for you guys. Just today I had to do it because I had um, school orientation because your boy is going to fucking college. I am going to college. I start college in the spring in January of 2019. And today I actually got everything done. I went to my first class orientation, signed up for my classes, um, and I start in January. I'm going for psychology. I, Dennis Garcia, I'm going to college for psychology. Like that, just let that sink in. I, I, I'm just here trying to figure out my own brain and figure out everybody else's brain. I, I, today, I have this cute ass fucking sweater that I got from Goodwill, cause you know, I love a cheap sweater. And it's this, it's this, this cute ass thing. Um, it is by the brand Chaps, 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 Chap. And um, it's a cute ass fucking sweater. It's a fall sweater. It's black and white striped and it went good with my brown boots because you know boots are essential for the fall But yeah guys today. I'm just having a really good day. I had some coffee earlier some Dutch Bros Of course, I love some Dutch Bros. So I had to drink my coffee today and I am very much awake and very much hyper But anyways uh, for today's video I actually wanted to talk to you guys about a little something that I usually never share the last couple of videos that I made had involved mostly me and issues that I have with online dating but today I wanted to talk to you guys about an issue that I have within myself and within my own insecurities when it comes to going back into the dating world and just some of the things that scare me about dating again. If you guys have not seen the video where I last talked about online dating and all the fucking reasons why I hate it, I'll put a little link down in the description box below so you guys can see it. I will also leave a little annotation right up here so you guys can easily click on it and go watch it. It's interesting, it's informative, it's real and it's raw and it's it's me. <laughs> I have been online dating for the last two years and I have not had the best of luck. And like, I'm perfectly fine with the fact that not everybody is going to be meant for me. I get that I am not everybody's type. I am really shy and awkward at first and maybe like some people don't like that. I'm not really like this in real life. If you guys ever were like see me in real life or in person, I, I'm not like this. I'm super fucking awkward. I'm super uncomfortable. I'm super shy. And so I feel like I come across as this like outgoing, fun person, when in reality like I'm not really like that. It takes a camera to like make this happen. Whenever I do the whole online dating thing and I like talk to people, match with them, whatever, it always starts off super strong. And I don't know if it's the fact that I have a stutter, the fact that I have three fingers, and that's not a lot of people's taste and that's like totally understandable. But like the one thing that I really fear that sort of scares me or that I'm insecure about when it comes to dating is not so much being rejected. I can definitely handle rejection. Like if we're not clicking, if there's not a vibe there and you're up front with me like, hey, like this isn't going the way that I would hope it was, but like you're a really cool friend, we can be friends, or even if you don't wanna fucking talk to him anymore and you wanna be like, hey, like this isn't working out whatsoever, like I don't see a connection in a relationship, I don't see a connection as friends, like we should just like dust it off and go to the next person, like I am perfectly okay with that. The one thing that I really, 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 really hate that makes me really insecure is when you're having a conversation with someone, you guys are clicking, you guys are vibing, and it's like this connection unlike any other. And you guys are talking 24 seven, and you guys are like video chatting, and Snapchatting, and following each other on Instagram, and everything seems great. And then like slowly, day by day, that person just kind of stops contacting you. And it's like, you start off strong, and you're like, 
communicating and having these amazing conversations and then the conversation just gets shorter and shorter and they take longer to respond and then eventually they just stop responding and like I'm totally fine with that I'm totally fine at the fact that you for whatever reason don't really find me attractive or don't want to talk to me anymore like that is perfectly fine you are definitely you're definitely not obligated to like continue talking to me but I, I just I wish that some people would have the decency to like let me know there's no worse feeling than like being ghosted I hate with a passion being ghosted and like I'm not the type of person that'll like reach out to you if I'm being like ghosted or if you're not replying to me or taking too long to respond I'm not gonna be like hey why aren't you responding? Are, are you like mad at me? Do you not want to talk to me anymore? Like I'm so far beyond that. Like that was like 22 year old Dennis. 27 year old Dennis does not fucking give a shit. I don't give a shit about people in order. Like I don't get, I don't give enough of a shit about somebody to like get my own closure. I just would like if you're going to stop talking to me and if you're going to ghost me that you at least have the decency or the balls to just fucking tell me like, hey, this isn't working out. And I will just, I'll, I'll be fine. I will survive. I will not hold it uh, against you. I will not hold it personally. On the other hand, I don't know you. I don't know what you're going through in life. I don't know where your road is headed. And if I am not in that picture, and if I'm not in that story, and if I'm not in that chapter of your life, then that's fucking perfectly good. But don't stream me along and just don't ghost me. Don't ghost people. That is one of the worst things and the worst qualities that I have found. Is it even a quality? What fucks me up the most is when they seem like they're making all this effort to talk to you and to keep a conversation going and to conversate. And you make all this time and effort for somebody. For them to just like completely ghost you after a couple of days is just, it's a little fucked up. Cause you put all this effort into someone and like spilling out who you are and, and getting to know someone and telling somebody about you and exchanging these personal details that you don't really share with like a lot of people online because you don't really get to that point to just have them like completely just like dump you in the trash after like they're done getting whatever it is that they need from you which i at this point i i don't know what you would gain by talking to me and then just ghosting me <sighs> maybe validation i if you feel like you're hot shit and that somebody is taking the time to talk to you and then once you're like okay check i feel validated peace i I don't know, I've had a lot of, a lot of guys who conversation will start off strong and then all of a sudden they're gone and I don't make the effort to like be like, hey, what's up? Usually for me it's like if you don't respond within like a day, I can get the hint. Cause you could respond quickly when we're having this like conversation and if you tell me like, hey, I'm busy, I'm gonna be at my job, I have things to do, like I will text you later. I can respect that. I'm not this like obsessed person like, oh my god, you gotta text me every day. But it's just, it's a matter of having decency. It's a matter of being respectful and not wasting people's time. I don't mind conversating. I don't mind seeing where it goes. But just tell me, if you don't feel the way that I feel or if we're not clicking or we're not vibing, tell me so that I'm not wasting my breath and wasting my thumbs, stretching so I'm not getting carpal tunnel and just wasting my bones on you. That's all I ask for. That's all I ask when it comes to online dating. That's my insecurity. I just feel like ghosting is such a shitty thing to do and I feel like you should just really own up to your feelings and how you feel towards somebody and just let them know, like, hey, this is this is the way it is. and. It was nice talking to you, have a good life. I appreciate you talking to me. I appreciate getting to know you, but I just don't see this going anywhere. So good luck on your adventures and um, hope you find somebody that makes you happy. That's all I ask for. That's all I ask for when it comes to dating, online dating or otherwise, in-person dating. <sighs> dating as an adult is just interesting. It is interesting. Because there's still a lot of people who still act like they're teenagers and who still act like they're hot shit. To make somebody feel like shit is just not really cool at this at this point in the game, especially for me. That's it for today's video, guys. I, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I, I know that I do a lot of these like ranty type videos and, and it's really because I enjoy them and because I feel like I have a lot to say on the subject. So if you guys do enjoy these ranty type informative, informative, 
videos on my life and who I am and how my brain works, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let me know down in the comment section below what was your worst what was your worst ghosting story? Have you ever been ghosted? I I want to know what fucked up shit somebody's done to you. Have you been catfished and and maybe they were just like stringing you along for like months, maybe like years? Have you ever been ghosted after talking to somebody for like years and investing so much of your personal self into somebody like I'm so curious to know what the what the dating world is for you guys but aside from that uh, I hope that you guys are having a good day and I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video um, aside from that I will see you guys next week I hope that you guys are having a good day and a good week and a good month and a good year and a good life and I will see you guys on the next one bye <laughs>